Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some Jenny's ice creams. We have three different flavors here. We have powdered jelly donut and salted peanut butter with chocolate flecks. And I have skillet cinnamon roll. These were $9.79 each at Whole, at Whole Foods. Yeah, yeah, that's how much they were. Uh, it's a full pint. Um, this one is the powdered jelly donut, vanilla custard, raspberry jelly, and a brown sugar donut crumble. A proper box of donuts has something for everyone. Let them have the sprinkles, the white coconut, the maple bacon. Your hand heads straight for the snow dusted round with a neon red center. Taking mine not to breathe in the powdered sugar, you bite into dough as soft and welcoming as a feather pillow. Then fragrant sweet raspberry jelly makes you feel all is well in the world, at least for this moment. Have a few napkins handy. Um, yeah, that's Sammy's favorite. Well, my favorite at Krispy Kreme is it's the uh, it's the glaze with the raspberry filling. So it, it's raspberry filling, but it, it's not powdered. Not powder. Right. Uh, but I'm sure this, I'm hoping this will taste like that. Uh, three servings in the container, two thirds cup, 123 grams is 310 calories, or it's 920 calories for the entire pint. I don't think that's bad. That's the least one. Made to be licked, locked, and loved. Okay. You immediately see stuff. Yes. See the raspberry. Raspberry. Okay. And we've had this line out for five minutes or so. Yeah, no uh, there's a lot of, of stuff in there. Brown sugar or whatever they call it. Out of the tub. I got just raspberry. Hmm. That is a different flavor than ice cream. It's almost like a, almost like a cream cheese. Do you like that cream cheese kind of flavor? Um, it's very, honestly, it tastes like eggnog. Or a cheesecake. Yeah, it, I was thinking it, cheesecake. To me, I'm getting eggnog. I wonder if that's well, it's vanilla custard and brown sugar donut crumble. The donut pieces are very soft. Yes, like it's different than cake pieces. It's almost cheesecake like to me. Cake pieces are um, the cake pieces that we've had in other uh, brands are really dense. These aren't like that. And this is so soft that you, unless you see them with your eye, if you were like eating it blindfolded, I don't think you would be able to tell the difference that it's like, that's supposed to be the, the donut pieces. It truly tastes like eggnog to me. You know what has the odd flavor in there? The raspberry. I know, because that's the first thing I got. I, I got a little bit of everything, and I thought it was the ice cream itself. It's not. It's the raspberry. Yeah. It has an odd flavor. I got just raspberry. There's like a line of raspberry going through there, and that's what I got at first. And because at first I thought, huh, I don't know if That's I like not a that. good raspberry. Uh-uh. No. It's not sweet. It's not even like a jam or preserve or anything like that. It's just like a... It's harsh. It's very... It's, yeah. And it's a tart. harsh... It's, yeah. it's too tart. I don't really like that. No, it, even though it does remind me of eggnog. Um, I don't get eggnog at all, but I do get that cream cheese kind of flavor. So I guess it's a little creamy, what, yeah. But the, okay, so if you dissect it, I don't like the pieces because they're all mush and it's all the same texture as everything else. So it doesn't stand out because it's so very mushy. And then the raspberry itself, is no, it's not like sweet. It's not the inside of a Krispy Kreme. No. It is not like sugar added. Um, it's not even like I'm used to buying the raspberry preserves, like that Bon 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 brand, however you pronounce it. Um, it's not sweet like that. Mm -hmm. And then the ice cream itself, it to me that it, it's coming across as eggnog, and you're calling it um, cheese, like cheesecake. Cheesecake. Kind of. But the the best part of that is the ice cream itself. 
It to the me, custard, it the doesn't the best part. taste anything like what I expected it no. to taste like, and I would not repurchase no, it. I wouldn't get that either. But ninety percent of it is just because of the jelly, the the, the raspberry. raspberry, because it's so bizarre. Because I could deal with the custard and the cook the brown butter cake pieces or whatever. I, I don't mind those at all, but that raspberry is just like oof. See, Kevin doesn't like the dense cake pieces. I don't like chewy cake pieces. That's fine, but that's literally like baby mush. I don't get that either. It's like it just baby all mixes food. together. Yeah, it's it's like there's like nothing different. No, there's nothing from between. anything else. No, it it's just like feels like you're eating the ice cream to me. Um, this is salted peanut butter with chocolate flakes, salted and roasted ground peanuts with grass grazed milk and crunchy dark chocolate flakes. Um, 350 calories for two thirds cup or 1,040 calories for the entire pint. So we've gone up a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Bump. Bump. I got a good. Good scoop. Yes. Okay. You couldn't avoid the chocolate pieces if you tried, by the way. Mm -mm. They're all through there. You I need it like the peanut butter. Mm hmm You taste, it tastes like peanut. Yeah, but it's a nice salty peanut. Mm-hmm. And I love the chocolate pieces. Yeah, that's really good. And the chocolate pieces remind me of the chocolate pieces that you get in a mint chocolate chip ice cream. Mm hmm They're really thin. They're, they're thin and very crispy. They're dark chocolate, but they go well with that peanut flavor. And it's um, it's it's not just peanut, but it's a sweet peanut. There's a little saltiness to it. That one's actually really good. That is not the chocolate that melts on your tongue, though. No. It's actually, I mean, I tried. I let it sit on my tongue. It does not melt. Right. <laughs> it just sits there. So you have to crunch through it. You have to bite it. You have to actually eat it. Mm-hmm. I love the peanut butter. Mm-hmm. I like that. Yeah, the that peanut good. butter. The peanut butter is delicious, mm -hmm. and I am really, really picky about peanut butter, and that's delicious mm -hmm. ice cream. Yeah. I would like to see them have that same, same intensity peanut butter base with a thick peanut butter swirl. Mm -hmm. I would love good. that. That would be my ultimate. Mm -hmm. Okay, now this. Yeah, one, really, the only thing I don't like about it is the chocolate pieces back and. They all go together, so it's fine. I like it because it adds a difference. Like I said, that first one's just all mush. Yeah, that adds a texture. texture. Yeah, you get crunchy pieces, which I like. I guess my biggest thing is it doesn't melt when it lays on your tongue. No, you have to chew it. Yeah, and see, I'm chewing it anyway. I'm not. I'm not going to waste any time to let it melt. I'm going to be chewing. This is the uh, skillet cinnamon roll, dark caramel, mm. cream cheese, pastry, and cinnamon. Lots of it, it says. Um, so you may or may not like this. 330 calories, a thousand even, a thousand calories even. For oh, that one's um, Yeah, it just, you know what? It depends on the sentiment. Ooh, well, that it's, dark it's, caramel looks. It's a good swirl, going. Looks wonderful. So what would you consider dark caramel? You I think cooked, that's like a burnt caramel? I think caramel? a cooked caramel. Yeah. We, we, we say little, cooked caramel. A little darker caramel. I think, I think what we're calling a cooked caramel. Let me get some more of this out just yeah. so it doesn't run. There we go. Yeah, you can tell it's actual ice cream because it melts pretty good. Yeah, this is uh, this is the real deal here for sure. Mm, a big that caramel looks so. Look oh gosh, yeah. <laughs> the big it pocket of caramel. And there's a little piece of something firm in there. I'm sure that's the pastry. Now, I didn't get any pastry. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see it right here. It's like, it looks like a cake piece. It looks like cookie dough. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, honestly. It is so sweet. Um, yeah, I don't have an issue with that. If, if I think to make it perfect, absolutely like five out of five, they could have left out those pastry, pastry pieces. I agree. Yeah. And it would have been perfect. There's too many of them in there. Mm -hmm. they're, they're like that chewy, kind of tough 
It's not cookie dough. It's like cake pieces. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of tough and chewy. Mm -hmm. or kind of, just kind of hard. I could literally drink this like a milkshake. Oh, yeah. It's excellent. The, the cinnamon is really good. The caramel. I don't know that you would actually identify that as caramel. It tastes just like that cinnamon, like slurry you kind of get with a cinnamon roll. Mm -hmm. That cinnamon sugar kind of goop you get. Mm -hmm. That's what that reminds me of. It, it's awesome. Yeah. yeah. This is, yes, the cinnamon sugar goo on the top of the cinnamon mm -hmm. roll is exactly what that is. Yeah. Um, which it's, goo makes it sound bad, but you know what I'm talking about. If you like a good gooey cinnamon roll. Yeah. The only thing that would have made this perfect is for them to leave out all the pastry pieces. Mm -hmm. leave or at them the out, very minimum, make them smaller. Leave them out completely because it's not needed and they get in the way. Mm -hmm. And they're just spending money on putting stuff in there that they don't need to put in there. Um, so I would just like it with just the just the cinnamon and the cream mm, cheese the and, yep. and i don't necessarily taste cream cheese no i think it, the ice cream itself maybe has a little bit of that flavor but i tell you what this would make a heck of a milkshake i mean it would the ice cream itself has a cream cheese kind of flavor i've gotten a lot of cinnamon in each one of my bites and i love the cinnamon because it's not just a harsh powder in your face cinnamon it does have enough sugar. Oh, super sweet. Super sweet. Um, Truthfully, the only one I didn't like was the raspberry one. I know. The donut, the powdered donut. And that's the one people are going to be wanting to buy because you would think, oh, I'm going to love that raspberry. You're not going to love that raspberry. There's no, something not wrong. Unless you like eating like... And I love like, raspberry. Even like raw raspberries don't taste like that. No. it, it No, it's off. It's something peculiar with that. Uh, yeah, I just don't like that at all. Well, um, that would, the cinnamon would be my number one for sure. Okay. And then peanut butter would be closely followed second. Mm -hmm. But they're, they're honestly, they're both like right there eating with each other. Mm. I tell you what, peanut butter's good. If you're a peanut butter lover, you cannot beat that peanut butter. Um, it's hard, but if I had to pick one, I'm really split now. I mean, you're, you're paying ten dollars. You're paying ten dollars, so if I only could afford one, I would get the cinnamon. Mm -hmm. I would too. Even though I don't want those pastry, I, I would eat I'm them just anyway. Eat them. I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna eat them. I'm anyway. gonna eat them, but I mean, I'm just gonna just ignore them. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna, eat them and, just yeah, because it's so good. Like, if this is a 5 out of 5, then that would be like a 4.5. Yeah. You know, it's that good. Um, so, either one of those, uh, you're safe to get. So, I will have a picture, a close-up picture of these for you at the end. And thanks for watching.